Bonsai, I'm the Cobra Kai Kid, and welcome to the Cobra Kai Season 1, Episode 5, Counterbalance Watch Party. This is the last watch party of the day, and could, couldn't think of a better episode than one of my favorite episodes in all of Cobra Kai, which is this episode, Season 1, Episode 5, where Miguel becomes a beast. So, I am going to set up the timer. I got it right here. Sync up your screens with me. We're watching season one, episode five, and you can sync up with the timer right there. We're going to start it on go. Okay, so when I say go, hit play, and we'll watch together. So that's five, four, three, two, one, go. Perfect. There we go. Let's do it. I can't wait for this episode, man. Here we go, Slither, the best track in Cobra Kai. -na 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 -na. Here we go. The the knuckle push-ups. He's turning into a beast. Boom. <laughs> I love the change of outfits too to show a progressing of time. You know, he's wearing different outfits for each scene, which shows that this is taking the course of a couple months, I think. Yeah, because you, you saw it's Christmas time around then. Nice. There we go, Miguel. Love that cake. Love the music. Love how he progresses in training. It's one of my favorite scenes in all of Cobra Kai. Probably top two. It's got to be my second favorite scene in all of Cobra Kai. Number one is Head Games from the very first episode. <laughs> Dream on. If you guys are joining, make sure to hit that like button. 94 people here. Thank you, guys. Rest in peace, ear. Yeah. Knuckle push-ups are key. They are. Twilight. Twilight honor. Uh, twi 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 twilight is upon us. That's a very good point, Daniel. I, I didn't even I never even noticed uh, Tori said this said today the moon she said it'll never be over. I never thought of that. That's funny actually. She doesn't really know what's going on. Armand. Our first introduction to Armand, the the goat.
<laughs> I love that. Anthony stopped drinking the butter. It's so funny. <laughs> it's funny. It's all part of his master plan. So messed up, though. Wasting his time and energy to just mess with Johnny when it's his business. Daniel doesn't have his balance yet. Poor Robbie, man. Robbie's had one of the most tragic stories in Cobra Kai. If not the tra most tragic story. Like, he has no one there for him. Except Crease and Silver, who are, like, the worst influences to have. Yes. <laughs> Aisha <laughs> thank you to the 170 people here joining the stream thank you I really appreciate it <laughs> oh Johnny he's so old fashioned man look at how big Miguel's clothes are on him but they do that on purpose because then later on they make him wear like more like they make him wear clothes that make him look more muscular. They want to like show how he, he like goes from this skinny kid to this more muscular kid. That's why they make him wear all these big baggy clothes. Good choice by the costume department. You know, a lot emotional, loud, but he. Well, I know a few guys who are quite love it, love it, man. Love, love this scene so much.
Aisha needs to be in season four, man. I really hope she's going to be in season four. Like, if she won't, I'll be really upset. Have you seen the Karate Kid 1984? The way the Karate Kid featurette part one and two on YouTube. It's telling of the movie from the Chris Claus. Thank you so much for the super chat. Wow, twenty dollars. I really appreciate that. That's very generous of you. The way of the Karate Kid featurette. Did I see that? I know it. I know it's on the Karate Kid DVD. Is it on YouTube? The way of the Karate Kid. Bruh, I've never seen that. Oh my god, I've never seen that. I know it's on the Karate Kid DVD. I'm going to watch it on the Karate Kid DVD. You call me a liar? <laughs> I ain't calling you a truther. Does anybody understand that reference? Shout out to anybody who understands that reference. He's planting the seeds of doubt in his mind. Jim Tim, you got it right. Drake and Josh. Great great job, Jim Tim. Drake and Josh. Drake and Josh. Yeah, you guys got it. <laughs> Love Drake and Josh. Such a good show. Why am I so obsessed with Cobra Kai? Why are you not obsessed with Cobra Kai is the question. Homeless Lynn. Susan Gallagher. The best. The best. <laughs> She's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> They're so messed up. Does it get boring watching it all the time? No. The show is a show that you could just watch over and over again and you never get boring. They're so mean, man. Sam didn't even do anything wrong. <laughs> Who's my favorite character? Miguel. <laughs> Your enemies don't care what day it is. I love that. You gotta jump face first in the fire. He just makes this stuff up at the fly. It's so funny. He's so serious, but it's so funny. Like, how do they not laugh at his face? That gong, a little gong something. <laughs> 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 I 
Girls in Nacho kommt. <laughs> Tiaz, you're in charge while he's like suffocating on the ground. Oh my god, funny story. Well, not really a story, but just like a general thing. This song that Robbie's listening to, I have on my playlist. Because I have all the Cobra Kai music on my Cobra Kai music playlist. And even though that this song is featured in like one second, and I don't even like the song, it's part of Cobra Kai. So, I have this song on my playlist. And whenever I have my headphones on, like it'll pop on it will just be the loudest thing and i hate it but it's cobra kai music so i gotta put it on like i don't know why i have it on my playlist but i just do Wild, the pawn shop guy. What a goat. <laughs> so funny he's so funny That's Daniel Russo in the back. That's his car. Very reminiscent of Cobra Kai Season 2, Episode 2, Back in Black at the end when Johnny and Chris confront Daniel outside the Cobra Kai Dojo. Best scene. Mr. Do I think Mike Barnes is going to be in season four? Uh, probably not. Season five, I think. Mm. Damn. Daniel's really causing some havoc.
Not on my watch. <laughs> Amanda or so the voice of reason. Mm. here we go here we go one of the best scenes of the series one of the best scenes in the series birthday video for me oh Nate thanks man I gotta check that out I can't click on the link from here, but I'll check it out. Thank you. Oh, that's messed up, Aisha. That's so messed up. Okay, a cool Easter egg. Look, Sam's about to fight Kyler. You're going to see her, like, get in ready position, but it, Miguel steps in. So it would be cool. What if scenario if, if Sam fought him instead of Miguel? That would be cool. What if? Ooh. It's messed up, man. Yeah. Like, she's getting ready to fight right there, but then Miguel steps in. Already the best scene. Why should that help us not be such an asshole? Miguel, the be Miguel's best scene you want to be down here? I'm ready for your Miss Cardi this time. Yeah, 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 Miguel, yeah, Miguel, yeah, yeah, this is, dude, this is the best scene, it's Cobra Kai, yeah, this is where Miguel became my favorite character in the whole show, he was always my favorite character, but this is, like, this scene where he's just, like, like, this is a scene that made this show for me, like, this scene, like, Im like, Im implement the fact this is my favorite show of all time, no mercy, perfect. Yes. And it's deserving. Miguel's trained hard to get to this point to do this. It didn't come naturally. Yes. <laughs> Sam's like, what the hell? Mm hmm. Mm, dun, 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 dun. Aaron. <laughs> Shout out to my Cobra Kai mini concert coming this Christmas, December 25th at 5 p.m. Eastern time. One of the best Miguel Johnny scenes. It's awesome. Mm. 
<laughs> I just I can't stop thinking about uh, me telling uh, William Zabka when I met him. Uh, I feel like Miguel. That was just totally on the spot. But you know, it was when he gave me the sunglasses. I was like, I feel like Miguel, and then I just said it. I, I just said it, and he laughed at it. It was so fun. I don't know, just even like hugging Zabka. I'm like, William, I feel like Miguel right now. So cool. Wow. And we're going to be getting this again in season four, which is absolutely beautiful. This is one of the best scenes in season one. I can't wait to get this scene in season four. Daniel visiting Mr. Miyagi's grave, but I wonder why. I wonder like what it's going to be for. one of the most emotional scenes in Cobra Kai by far it's so sad but they really honor Mr. Miyagi and Pat Morita's legacy in this show which is beautiful Such a great scene. What a great lesson. What a great scene. This scene is amazing. And the music that's about to be heard for this scene is my favorite theme of all time, Miyagi-Do. Favorite theme of all time. The Miyagi-Do theme. Here it is. Here it is. This is the theme. I listened to this on repeat, nonstop. I've listened to this probably over 100 million times on Apple Music. Just loop it, loop it, loop it, loop it. Burn! AJ. Oh, they're all so little. Sholo. They're all like little kids. Ready? Love that transition. The music. Jeez, the Miyagi-Do theme. This whole scene of Daniel clearing out the oh. chills, man. I get the chills. I'm really, really getting chills. Amanda seeing Daniel. First rule of karate, second rule of karate. Like, just beautiful, man. It's beautiful. Mr. Miyagi, man. What a great photo.
Mm. Robbie, man. Credit kit part three. Here we go. Here we go. This is the original headband from the Karate Kid. He kept it after all these years. That's the original headband. The music Bill Conti scored. Daniel's moment of truth. Jeez. That's the Karate Kid, ma. That's Daniel Russo. That's Daniel Russo. That's the Karate Kid. Bum, 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 bum. The Kata, man. Mr. Miyagi Kata. Wow. What an amazing scene in the music. Best mid-season finale, man. This is so, so sick. This is how you end an episode. Chills for original Karate Kid fans. Dun, dun. In loving memory of Naryoki Pet Marita. Beautiful, beautiful. And that is it. That was Cobra Kai season one, episode five. Counterbalance, one of the best episodes. Um, Chris Kotz, thank you so much for the $10 super chat. Am I going to do a watch party on the sneak peek on the 28th? I'm going to make a video on that. I'm going to talk about that. Um, I don't think I'm going to be doing a watch party. Um, I think I'm going to watch the episode by myself because I just want to focus on it. But I will do a live reaction after. I will. I will. Um, make a video more specifically on that but thank you all for joining me for the watch parties so tomorrow we're gonna uh do a we're gonna start them later so around four o'clock five o'clock is when we're gonna start the next batch of watch parties um things may change um but as of right now we'll say four o'clock um is when but it might be earlier so i'm not gonna schedule it just yet but um yeah, just stay tuned is what I'll say. So just stay tuned. So thank you all for watching. Thank you all for joining me. I love you all. I appreciate it. And I will, I will see you guys tomorrow on Cobra Kai Kid. And until then, remember, Cobra Kai never die.